What's up everyone, Patrick here. And in this next example, what we're told is that A and B are the sets of letters in the words mathematics and economics respectively. And given those two sets, we have to find their union and intersection. So first thing I'm gonna start off with in this question is actually writing out or drawing out the set A and B because this could be a common source of confusion. For the set A, which is the letters in the word mathematics, you can't just write out all of the letters. Well, you can actually for the first uh, five because they're all different, but then notice this M here, you wouldn't write there because if you remember in sets, each element can only appear once. And so this may be a trick choice on a multiple choice test, for example. Let's say that they say A is the set of elements of the letters in the word mathematics. And then one of the choices may be all of the letters. So the whole word written out. But that wouldn't be correct because you wouldn't write the M twice or the T twice, for example. And so the actual set here would be M-A-T-H-E, the M we already wrote, the A we already wrote, the T we already wrote, the I we haven't wrote, so we could write that, the C we haven't wrote, and then the S we haven't wrote. And so the words in mathematics, if you represented them or the letters in mathematics, if you represented them as a set, this is how it would be over here. Each element is only written once. And then if we do the same thing for B, so we'll have E, C, O, N. O, we already wrote. M, we haven't wrote. We'll have I, C, we wrote. S, we haven't wrote, like that. So this is A and this is B over here. And then once you have this, the union set, it's fairly easy. It's A or B. So what's an A or B? Well, it's basically, we can write out all of A. First, you could have wrote all of B first if you want. Again, the order doesn't matter either. It doesn't have to be like an alphabetical order. It didn't even have to be in the order of the way the letters appear in the actual word, but just for simplicity, I kept it in that order. Could be in any order. Um, so all of these elements in uh, mathematics, and then what we can do is we can go through each of these letters and see which one haven't appeared. So E, we already have C, we have O, we don't have, so that would be there. Uh, N, we don't have, so that would be there. M, we have, I, we have, S, uh, we have as well. So we just added the O and N because that wasn't there, right? It's A or B, it has to be in just one of them. So that's what the union set would be. Now the intersection, it's A and B, so it has to be in both of them. So notice the M is in both. Uh, the A is not, the uh, T is not, the H, actually, you know what? Maybe we should, uh, it's probably better to cross out the ones that aren't in both, right? So A is not in both. Uh, T is not in both, H is not in both, E is in both, uh, I is in both, C is in both, and then S is in both. So let's maybe circle these. And then I think that's it, right? And then O and N is just in B, it's not in a. And so this here would be the intersection, right? So if you get a question like this, I recommend maybe writing out the sets individually first and then go into finding the uh, union and intersection.